In this video, we're going to build a bed with storage. To get this thing started, I made a list of all of my cuts. The bed is essentially two boxes with two by four pieces joining them together in the middle. The two box pieces will sit on a two by four frame to elevate it for easier drawer clearance. I was going to use pocket screws to hold everything together, so I went ahead and drilled out all of the pocket holes now. Each frame was sized to be about an inch and a half shorter and narrower than the boxes that would sit on top. The boxes or platform sections were made from half inch plywood. Save yourself some trouble and just go ahead and get three quarter inch. I'll explain how this became a problem later. I made a cut with a circular saw to get the plywood down to its final length. And then I set the feds on my table saw and ripped it all to the right widths. When working with large sheets of plywood, I found it easy to make my cut slightly oversized, then reset the fence to make my final cut. Smaller pieces are way easier to handle for more exact lines. By setting the fence, I was able to make quick repetitive cuts for all of the drawer sides. The bottom of each drawer was going to slide into a slot on the inside of the drawer sides, so I set the depth of my blade to half the thickness of the plywood drawer sides, and ran each piece through. I adjusted the fence again just a little bit and ran each board through a second time to widen the cut to the same width of the plywood drawer bottoms. Then it was on to cutting up the quarter inch plywood for the drawer bottoms. There are many types of plywood out there. For anything that will be touching the fabric like the insides of the drawers or the drawer bottoms or even the bed platform, it's worth it to spend a little extra money on some plywood with a very smooth surface. I assembled the drawers with glue and nails which should be plenty strong for the light use that these drawers will see in our guest room. After three sides were together, I slid the bottom in place and added the final side. It felt like there was a little bit of a give in the middle of each bottom, so I cut a couple strips and glued and nailed them in place. After that small addition, they felt way more solid. I repeated this process for the other three drawers and moved on to the construction of the bed. I had a little bit left over of the quarter inch plywood, so on two of the drawers I added a center divider. Before I put them together, I made a couple passes on the table saw just like I did for the drawer bottoms and the divider slid right in. I didn't glue these in place in case I wanted to remove them later. These drawers are pretty huge so the divider should help with organization of smaller stuff and the big drawers will be perfect for extra blankets and linens. The drawer slides were very easy to use. You can set up a spacer block or just line them up to the bottom in front of the drawer sides. A few screws are all it took for each slide. It's a good idea to label each support so you know the correct orientation of where the drawers will be in the bed. My bed had two drawers per side towards the foot of the bed. I didn't add drawers to the head of the bed so side tables could be used without interfering with the drawers. The bed was held together the same way the drawers were with glue and nails. Take your time lining all of this up when gluing and nailing everything together. I had a small laptop stand that was a huge help with holding the sides up to the correct height while I put everything together. I measured where the inner supports and drawer slides would need to go based on the width of the drawers. Each slide was half inch wide so I had to account for that in my measurements as well. When marking up my lines for the supports, I used a few different straight edges to carry my lines all the way around the platform. This helped me keep the supports square on the inside and showed me where to put my nails on the outside. Once they were glued and nailed on two sides, I flipped it over and added the top. You can see here that some of the slides were taken off. This is the second platform that I made, and when I was making it, I oriented it the exact same way as the first one when it needed to be a mirror image. After I got it all attached, I just flipped it over and reattached the drawer slides in the correct place. If I were doing this again, I would probably wait on adding the slides until after the boxes were completely put together. Trying to get everything square with the slides in place was a little tricky and more of a headache than it needed to be. After adding the slides to the drawers, I gave them a quick test to make sure they all fit. Then I got started on the drawer faces. You can really use anything for this, solid wood, plywood, old barn wood, it really doesn't matter. I went with cheap cedar fence posts. I didn't have any cool wood on hand, and again, these were cheap. I trimmed down each side to get a clean edge. Three of these fence pickets were going to be glued together to achieve a drawer face the same height as the bed. I planed down one surface of each board to reveal the grain. The length of the board was not the full length of the bed, so when gluing everything up, I made a few extra cuts and staggered the joints. I could have just made each face separately, but I wanted the look to be continuous. This method was a little tedious, but with enough clamps and calls, I was able to get everything together. While they dried, I added the bed pieces to the 2x4 frames. I lined the frame up to the head and the inside edge of the bed. This is where that inch and a half narrower and shorter thing comes into play. This elevates the bed just slightly, giving it a more finished look. And later, I'll cover up the 2x4 edges with some trim that matches the drawer faces. Once the drawer face is dried, I used the hand plane to smooth out some of the joints that weren't perfect and then sanded the whole thing. I added a couple coats of stain and a couple coats of poly with a light sanding between each coat. To mount the drawer faces, I used some 2x4 spacer blocks that were conveniently the same height as the frame below, and then clamped the long piece in place. I marked where the faces needed to be cut at the halfway point on the supports, 
and made my cuts with the circular saw. To attach the faces, I got them back into position with the 2x4 spacers, clamped them in place, and then screwed them in from the inside of the drawer. Initially, I was still debating on going back and finding some reclaimed barn wood, so I didn't glue them in place at this point. But after getting everything together, I decided I liked it and added the glue and screwed it all back together. For the faces that didn't attach to the drawers, I made a few pocket holes and screwed them in place. I can always come back later and add more drawers or convert this into some kind of hidden storage. After that, I tacked on the trim to cover the 2x4 frame and took the pieces to the guest room for assembly. Everything was held together with 2x4s and pocket screws. I mentioned earlier the 3 quarter inch plywood would be better than the half inch that I used. With the half inch plywood, I was afraid there wouldn't be enough material for the screw to bite into for adequate support. I ended up cutting some 2 by 4 and half and then gluing and nailing that in place on the inside of the bed pieces where the screws would be coming through. Doing this allowed me to use longer screws and it really helped with the extra support. While we're talking about it, the top of the bed between the vertical supports made me a little leery. It would probably be okay as is with the mattress on top, but I felt it would be better to reinforce it. I added some leftover 5 quarter decking material, and after that it felt super sturdy and solid. If we just would have started with the 3 quarter, I could have saved myself the headache, but it was only a few extra screws and scraps, so it really wasn't that big of a deal. After I joined the two bed halves together, I added the face to the foot of the bed. I used a couple pocket screws along the top middle support, and then a few more screws from the inside of the bed. Here you can see both of the added supports I mentioned earlier. From there I added the last bit of trim to the foot of the bed, slid all the drawers back in place and then added the mattress. This was my biggest problem solving project yet, but I think in the end it turned out great and will be perfect for what we need it to do. If you like what you saw, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for many more project videos just like this one. Also, you can follow me on any other social media at Mr. Matt Woodworks. Thanks.